Hello students, in my previous class I discussed about the subtraction of three digit numbers. Today I am going to revise the same with a fun activity which is very interesting and you will enjoy it. Now we are going to do three digit subtraction through this activity. The first number we have, we have to take away 225 from 546. So we are going to place the counters of these numbers in their place value columns. This we have taken as ones. This we have taken as tens. And this we have taken as hundreds. In the ones column we have six. So we are going to place six ones. One, two, three, four, five and six. In the tens column we have four tens. So I place four tens here. One, two, three and four. And in the hundreds column we have five here. So I will place five hundreds here. One, two, three, four and five. Now we have 546. We have to take away five ones. So we will take away five ones from here. And we are left with one ones. So we are going to write one ones here. In the tens column we have to take away two. So I will take away two tens. And we are left with two tens. So if we take away two tens from four tens, we are left with two tens. Then in the hundreds column, we have to take away two hundreds. We'll take away two hundreds and we are left with three hundreds here. So we'll write three here. So if we take away 225 from 546, the result is 321. We have to subtract 185 from 352. Before starting this, you should recall that 1 tens is equal to 10 ones and 1 hundreds is equal to 10 tens. So we have the number 352 for which we are going to place the counters here. In the ones place we have two ones so we are going to place two here in the tens column we have five tens so i'll place five tens here one two three four and five next we have three hundreds so i'll place three hundreds here One, two, and three. We have three hundreds here. Now we have to take away one hundred eighty-five, but we can't do that because here five is more than two, so we can't take away five from two. Similarly, we can't take away eight from five. So for this, we have to borrow. Or do the regrouping. So first what we will do. We can borrow from tens column here. So we will place this one tens in the ones column. But we know that one tens is equal to ten ones. So we are going to place ten ones here. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now instead of 2 ones we have 
12 ones here. And here we are left with 4 tens. Now we can't take away 8 from 4. So we borrow from the hundreds column. We will borrow from the hundreds column and place one hundreds here. But we know that one hundred is equal to ten tens. So we will pay, play, place ten tens here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten so instead of four tens now we have fourteen tens and we are left with two hundreds here so now we have the sufficient number of hundreds tens and ones and we can subtract 185 from this number we have to take away 5 ones. So we will take away 5 ones. And now we are left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 7 ones. In the tens column we have to take away 8 tens from 14 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now we are left with 6 tens. So 14 minus 8 is 6. Here we have to take away 100s from 200s. We will take away 1 and we are left with 100s here. So when we have to subtract three, 185 from 352, first we have to do regrouping and then we can subtract and the result is 167. Regrouping is done two times here. First we regrouped 10, 1 tens to 10 ones and then we regrouped 100 to 10 tens. This is how we can make the subtraction possible. Hope you have understood the subtraction of two three digit numbers. Now we are going to start the subtraction of two four digit numbers. First we will subtract 4512 from 5683. The first step we are going to do is we are going to place these numbers under the columns or the place values. So first is 5683, which is the larger number. 3 in the 1's place, 8 in the 10's place, 6 in the 100's place and 5 in the 1000's place. This is the larger number. Below this we are going to place the smaller number, which is 2 in the 1's place, 1 in the 10's place, 5 in the 100's place and 4 in the thousands place. Then we are going to put a subtraction sign here. The next step is we are going to draw the columns of thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. Thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. Now in the ones place we have Three ones here. One, two and three. In the tens place we have eight tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. In the hundreds place we have six hundreds. One, two, three, four, five and six. And in the thousands place we have five thousands. 1, 2, 3, 4 
and 5. Now we have to take away 2 ones from 3 ones. And the remaining is 1. So we will write 1 here. From 8 tens we have to take away 1 tens and the remaining are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 7 ones. From 6 hundreds we have to take away 5 hundreds. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And the remaining is 100. From 5 thousands we have to take away 4 thousands. 1, 2, 3 and 4. And the remaining is 1000. So if we take away 4512 from 5683, the result is 1171. And the result of subtraction is known as the difference. Did you get this? Next, we have to take away 1537 from 2000. Again, we have to place these numbers under their place values here. The first is 2000. That is the larger number. The smaller number, which is 1537, will be placed Below the larger number, 1,537. And put a subtraction sign here. Again, we will draw the columns thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. Thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. In the thousands column we have two thousands. So we will draw two lines here. Two thousand. Zero in the hundreds column. So no number here. Zero in the tens column. So no number here. And 0 in the 1's column, so no number here. We have only 2 lines here in the 1000's column. Now if we have to take away 7 from 0, that is not possible. So what we have to do is we have to go to next door and borrow. But here in the 10's place also there is no number. Again, we can't borrow from here. The next door is hundreds. No number here also. What to do now? Now we have to go to thousand to borrow. So first we will regroup one thousands to ten hundreds. This one thousand will be taken here and I told you in my previous class that 1000 is equal to 10 hundreds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now this 100 is equal to 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now we have sufficient number of 10s and 1 can borrow from the 10s column. When this 10s is regrouped to 1s, this will form 10 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we have sufficient number of hundreds, tens and ones. Here what will happen? From thousands column, one thousand is given to the hundreds column. 
which forms 10, 100 and 1000 is remaining here. This 100 is borrowed by 10. So here we have we are left with 9 hundreds and here we get 10 tens. Now 1 tens is borrowed by 1s. So 1 tens is given and 9 tens are remaining here and we get 10 ones here. Now we have 10 ones, 9 tens, 9 hundreds and 1 thousands. Now we have to take away 7 from 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. We are left with 3 ones here. 10 minus 7 is 3. Here we have 9 tens and we have to take away 3 tens from here. 1, 2 and 3. We are left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 tens. So 9 minus 3 is 6 here. Then we, are, we have 9 hundreds and we have to take away 5 hundreds. So we will take away 5 hundreds and we are left with 4 hundreds here. So 9 minus 5 is 4. Now 1000 is left here and we have to take away 1000. So no thousands here. 1 minus 1 is 0. So we have done regrouping 3 times here. First we regrouped 1000 to hundreds, then hundreds to tens and finally tens to ones. And finally our result is 463. Now can you subtract 4799 from 7905? Again, we will arrange the numbers in columns here. 7905, which is a larger number, will be placed first. And below this, we are going to place the smaller number, which is 4799. Put a minus sign here. Now, can we take away 9 from 5? No. Again, we have to borrow here. But there, we have a 0 here in the tens place. So, first tens will borrow from hundreds and then it will give to ones. This will become 8 hundreds and here we will have 10 tens. Now, this 10 tens will give 1 ten to ones. So we will have 9 tens here and we will get 10 more ones, so 15 ones here. Now we can take away 9 from 15. 15 minus 9 is 6. 9 minus 9 is 0. Do you remember when we subtract a number from itself, the result is 0. Then 8 minus 7 is 1 and 7 minus 4 is 3. So if we take away 4799 from 7905, the result is 3106 and the result of subtraction is known as the difference. Hope you have understood the concept of subtraction of four digit numbers and the concept of regrouping. Practice more and more sums and make yourself perfect.